everybody, Teacher Colleen here. I hope you guys are all doing well. I miss you so much and I can't wait until I can see you guys again. I have a really fun activity for us to do together today. All that you'll need are six objects of equal length. I'm gonna be using popsicle sticks today, but you can use anything that you can find around your home as long as there's six and they're equal length. So some examples are crayons or straws or markers. But I'm gonna use popsicle sticks. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We're gonna be doing a shapes activity today, so we're gonna go over some common shapes and then we're gonna make them using our objects. All right? Great, so I have this big giant board right here with a bunch of different shapes on it. Let's go over them. First, we have a triangle. How many sides does the triangle have? One, two, and three. Then we have our square. Let's count the sides on the square. One, two, three, and four. Then we have a circle. The circle doesn't really have sides, right? It's just one side in a circular shape. Then we have a trapezoid right here. That has one, two, three, and four sides. And two of the sides are kind of going up at an angle, right? Then we have our rectangle here. That has one, two, three, and four sides and the top and bottom sides are much longer than the other two sides, right? Then we have a pentagon here. Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, and five sides on our pentagon. We have an oval right here. Kind of looks like our circle, but it's stretched out and bigger, right? Then we have our rhombus. It has one, two, three, and four sides. It's kind of like our square, but it's tilted on its side and kind of looks like a diamond shape almost, right? And we have our hexagon here that has one, two, three, four, five, and six sides on our hexagon. Great, now that we've gone over that, let's make some shapes using our objects. So first we had the triangle and that was three sides. So I'm getting three of my popsicle sticks. All right, there's our triangle, great. Did you guys make one at home? Awesome. Then we're gonna do our square, and that had four sides. So I'm gonna keep my three from my triangle and add a fourth on there to make a square. Great. Then we have our circle. The circle and the oval we're gonna skip today because those are curved edges and all of our objects are straight edges right now. So they're gonna be kind of difficult to make those curves. So then we had the trapezoid, which was four sides, and it had two kind of going up at an angle like that. We go all right then we had our rectangle and remember two of the sides were much longer than the other two so I'm going to use two popsicle sticks on the top and two on the bottom to make our rectangle all right there we go great all right and then we had our pentagon and that one had five sides remember let's make our pentagon there's two up at the top like that kind of look like a little house, right? All right, there we go, a pentagon, and it has five sides. Awesome. All right, then we had our rhombus, and that one kind of looked like a square, but it was tilted on its side, right? Kind of like a diamond shape. Great, there we go, that's our rhombus. And then the last object on our shapes board was the hexagon, and that one had six sides, remember? So we're gonna use all of our popsicle sticks, or all of our objects. Great. There we go. There's my hexagon. Awesome, thanks so much you guys, that was a lot of fun. It's really important to remember our shapes and how many sides they have, right? Great. So in our next video, I'm gonna ask for you guys to go outside and go on a little bit of a nature walk and pick out a couple leaves or plants, flowers, anything